everybody, Boone Wyatt with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration here. Uh, today I'm restoring an old antique ski. Uh, as you see here, we start, uh, we actually, I apologize in advance, I forgot to film the uh, disassembly portion, or I thought I was filming, and in the end it <laughs> was not filming, so I was not about to reassemble it all. So we've disassembled it, and here we are removing all of the existing finish. And once again, I do apologize, I forgot to uh, record the finishing process. So right here, it has been completely sprayed and finished with uh, several coats of a waterborne finish. Uh, as you see here, I picked up some tread grip from the hardware store, and I'm replacing the tread grip that goes behind the feet of uh, the little slide ends. And right here, I'm doing a trick I saw on the old faded plastic pieces. You can heat it up with a heat gun. I I think I've seen people use a torch, but I haven't tried that and um, can't really vouch for it. But here I am using a heat gun, just uh, applying it slowly on the plastic and restoring the original color to the plastic. Uh, it actually worked out really well and I was really surprised. So uh, we got those restored and we are reinstalling them as you see here. And uh, this is actually a really fun process for me. I love doing old antique uh, memories like this. So. As far as the boots go, the leather pieces, I restored those using saddle soap. They cleaned up extremely nice. I was really happy with how those turned out. Uh, the tread grips were brand new, so those looked real, real slick. And the end product just turned out really, really fabulous. Now, as you see on that, that front part I'm putting on, it's like a horseshoe of black plastic, and it was so brittle when I took it off that it was cracked. So I did have to do a little glue work, but that actually ended up going together really nice. And then lastly, I don't know what this part is called, but the, the red metal rudder on the end, I just cleaned it up using a little uh, natural stain and uh, really, really turned out nice. As you see here, here's the end result. I got a couple different angles, but I hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we hope to see you all in the future. Uh, we'll see you again. Thanks.